we've always heard the thing about where he slept and so forth, which is sort of intended as a funny thing. But the truth is, Washington did get around the country like few others did at that time. And so that in and of itself is notable that this person got around the country the way he did. And as president, he visited all 13 states in less than two and a half years uh, in his first term. And then I thought it was uh, also striking that I learned that uh, Washington never visited uh, south of Virginia uh, except on this trip when he came to the Carolinas and Georgia, uh, and that was in 1791. One footnote to that, I sometimes get called when I when I proclaim that. Uh, Washington was probably in the Dismal Swamp uh, section in North Carolina in the 1760s, but he that was hardly a proper visit to North Carolina. Now, in putting together this tour in 1791, what was the president's motivation? He obviously could have stuck around uh, the, the, the Capitol, done his business. This had to be quite an undertaking. Why do it? Mitch, the president wanted to see the people and and get out and sell the new government. And he wanted to also, I think, understand the country. He wanted to understand the, the lay of the land. You know, he was an outdoor figure. Uh, he liked to understand what the soil looked like, what the terrain and the trees were like, and he wanted to understand the will of the people, and that way I think he thought he could be a better president, so in that way he was being hands-on. Uh, and he also was essentially selling the new U.S. Constitution, which of course he was the first president under that Constitution, and so he was out wanting to promote it, promoting the new federal government, as well as getting some feedback about, well, how is it being accepted?